Rolls-Royce is a name that has always gone with luxury. In fact, Rolls-Royce can be used as a term to define luxury. The company has more than a century-long history, dating back to 1904. Started as a car manufacturer, then was forced into the defense industry during the World War for making aero engines. How Rolls-Royce was founded, its early history and development of the brand was a result of the vision of two men, Charles Rolls and Sir Henry Royce. Rolls-Royce was established in Manchester, United Kingdom by the partnership of Charles Rolls and Henry Royce. Building on Royce's reputation, they quickly developed a reputation for superior engineering by manufacturing the best car in the world. History of Rolls-Royce dates back to 1904 when Henry Royce was introduced to Charles Rolls in Manchester. Royce ran an electrical and mechanical business since 1884. Charles Stewart Rolls was born as the youngest of four children. He went to school in Berkshire and then to Eton College where he developed passion for engineering. In 1894, he went to private grammar in Cambridge which gained him the entrance to Trinity College, Cambridge to study mechanical and applied science. He graduated from Cambridge University in 1898. Afterwards, he started working on a steam yacht and then at the London and North Western Railway. Charles Rolls was one of the first car owners in Wales and was more interested in motoring, pioneering and salesmanship. With financial support of his father, he opened one of the first car dealerships in Britain in 1903. His firm, C.S. Rolls & Co., was importing and selling Pujo and Minerva cars. In addition to being a motorist pioneer, Rolls was also an avid aviator. In 1903, he helped create the Royal Aero Club and became the second person to gain the license to fly from the club. In 1909, Rolls bought Wright Flyer aircraft with which he made over 200 flights. One year later, he became the first person to make a non-stop double flight across the English Channel, for which he was awarded the gold medal of the Royal Aero Club. However, only one month after his successful crossing of the English Channel, he was killed in an air crash during a flying display in Bournemouth, becoming the first Briton to die in a plane crash. He was only 32 years old when he died. For Sir Henry Royce, Henry Royce was born in 1863 as the youngest of five children. At the age of nine years, Royce's father passed away and he had to work to contribute to his family's income by selling newspapers and delivering telegrams. By the time he turned 15 years, he had completed only one year of school. Royce then worked as an apprentice at the Great Northern Railway Company in Peterborough after he received financial support from his aunt. However, he was forced to quit after three years due to lack of money. He briefly worked at a tool-making company in Leeds, then for electric, light and power company in London. In 1882, he moved to Liverpool, continuing to work for the electric, light and power company. Together with his friend Ernest Claremont, Royce started a business called FH. Royce and Company in 1884. They started with domestic electric fittings, but in 1894, they were already making dynamos and electric cranes. At the same time, Royce became increasingly interested in motor cars and decided to improve a 1901 two cylinder car he bought. Soon, however, he decided to build a car on his own and then built three cars by 1904. One of the three cars he had built, Royce gave one to his business partner, Claremont, and sold one to Henry Edmonds, who arranged the meeting between Royce and Rolls, which marked the beginning of the future of Rolls-Royce Limited Company. Rolls was introduced to Henry Royce by his friend Henry Edmonds, a director at Rolls Limited, who drove one of the first three Royce vehicles. The future co-founders of Rolls-Royce met at the Midland Hotel in Manchester in May 1904 and reached an agreement on foundation of a joint business, Rolls-Royce, in December 1904. The thing that brought the two men together, however, was a two-cylinder Royce 10 that was made by Royce in 1904. Rolls preferred three and four-cylinder cars. However, he was so impressed by Royce's two-cylinder vehicle that he promised to take as many Royce cars as he could make. Royce and Rolls reached an agreement according to which four models would be made. All would bear Rolls-Royce name and they would be sold exclusively by Rolls. The first Rolls-Royce 
two-cylinder car was presented at the end of 1904. In 1906, the two entrepreneurs formed Rolls-Royce Limited and started to look for appropriate location for a car production factory. They considered several locations, including Manchester, where Rolls had a factory, but they eventually decided for Derby because the city council offered them cheap electricity. The Rolls-Royce factory in Derby was designed by Royce while the production began in 1908. In addition to the two, three, and four-cylinder cars, Royce started working on development of a new six-cylinder model with 40 to 50 horsepower. In the following year, Rolls-Royce focused exclusively on the new model, which came to be known as the Silver Ghost. It was the very same model that made Rolls-Royce one of the most desirable brands and forced the company to open a second factory in the United States to be able to keep up with the demand. The factory in Springfield, Massachusetts, however, was closed in 1931 as a result of the Great Depression. After the end of the First World War, Rolls-Royce avoided all attempts to match the British car producers and successfully adjusted to the market demands. Since the sales of the previous model were dropping, Rolls-Royce introduced a less expensive 20 model in the 1920s. Rolls-Royce acquired Bentley in 1931. Bentley's factory in Creekwood was closed and the production was moved to Rolls-Royce facilities in Derby. Until the Second World War, Bentley was kind of a sporty version of Rolls-Royce. After the end of the Second World War until 2002, the standard Bentley and Rolls-Royce models were virtually identical. Rolls-Royce stopped production of the new Bentley 8-liter, which was threatening sales of their current Phantom, disposed of remaining Bentley assets and using the Bentley name and its repute. After two years of development, Rolls-Royce introduced a new and quite different ultra-civilized medium-sized Bentley, the Bentley 3.5 liter. Until 2002, standard Bentley and Rolls-Royce cars were usually nearly identical. Bentleys were badge engineered. Only the radiator grille and minor details differed. The new 4050 HP Phantom replaced the Silver Ghost in 1925. The Phantom 3, introduced in 1936, was the last large pre-war model. A strictly limited production of Phantoms for heads of recommenced in 1950 and continued until the Phantom 6 ended production in the late 1980s. Since 1973, after its demerger from the core company, the Rolls-Royce automotive sector went through a number of changes in ownership. Currently, Rolls-Royce cars are manufactured exclusively by the company Rolls-Royce Motor Cars Limited, which is a subsidiary of BMW. Rolls-Royce Motors demerged from Rolls-Royce Limited in 1973. It operated independently of its parent company along with Bentley Motors until 1980 when Vickers POC acquired this car business. Later in 1998, the Rolls-Royce Motors were sold to Volkswagen Group by Vickers but the right for using the name Rolls-Royce and the logo were purchased by BMW for 40 million euros. From 2003, BMW got the sole right to name, manufacture, and sell Rolls-Royce cars. Rolls-Royce has been considered the ultimate in luxury vehicles for decades, and its Phantom Ultra luxury sedan is a testament to Rolls-Royce reputation. Pricing can start around a quarter million dollars and go as high as you please with countless options for bespoke creations. The current Rolls-Royce passenger car lineup comprises the Wraith Coupe, Ghost Sedan, Dawn Convertible, and the Phantom Sedan. Both the Ghost and the Phantom can be had in two different wheelbases with extra rear passenger space in extended models. The Rolls-Royce Cullinan is the brand's first SUV, delivering all the incredible comfort, craftsmanship, and unparalleled exclusivity found in Rolls-Royce cars, just in a larger, taller package. Rolls-Royce first all-electric car and its most aerodynamic, the Spectre Coupe, is scheduled to begin sales in 2023. It has begun the brand's most demanding testing program in its history, with 2.5 5 million kilometers from everyday use to the harshest climates around the world, having already completed tests in Sweden just 55 kilometers from the Arctic Circle in negative 40 degrees temperatures and on glacial surfaces. The Spectre will also introduce a redesigned spirit of ecstasy with one leg forward, a lower, powerful stance, and a more realistic but aerodynamic robes, commonly mistaken as wings. There is a lot more to look forward to when it comes to luxury car manufacturer Rolls Royce. What is your favorite? Rolls-Royce brand? Let us know in the comment section. Thank you for watching.